Unraveling the phrase, pulling my hair out, a guide to English expressions. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an expression that you might have heard in movies, books, or even in everyday conversations, pulling my hair out. If you're curious about what this phrase means and how to use it, you're in the right place. Let's unravel this together. The phrase, pulling my hair out, is an idiomatic expression used to convey a feeling of extreme frustration or anxiety. It paints a vivid picture of someone so overwhelmed with a situation that they might as well be tugging at their own hair in distress. It's important to note that this expression is figurative. People usually don't actually pull their hair when they use this phrase. While the exact origins of this phrase are not clear, it's widely used in English-speaking countries to express a deep level of stress or agitation. You might use, pulling my hair out, when describing challenging situations, such as trying to solve a difficult problem, dealing with stubborn technology, or managing a hectic schedule. It's a way to emphasize just how taxing the experience is without being literal. To help you better understand how to use, pulling my hair out, let's look at a few examples. I've been trying to fix this computer for hours. I'm literally pulling my hair out here. Organizing the event with so little time left has got me pulling my hair out. She's been pulling her hair out trying to get the kids ready for school on time every morning. These examples show the versatility of the phrase in various contexts, always indicating a high level of stress or frustration. It's also worth noting that while this expression is commonly used and understood in many English-speaking cultures, always be mindful of the context and the audience. Idioms like, pulling my hair out, can be powerful in conveying emotions, but they're best used in informal settings. In more formal or sensitive situations, it might be better to choose a phrase that clearly communicates your feelings without relying on idiomatic expressions. And there you have it, folks. We hope this exploration of the phrase, pulling my hair out, has shed some light on its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in your daily conversations. Remember, learning idiomatic expressions is a fun and integral part of mastering the English language, adding color and depth to your communication. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into English expressions and language learning tips. See you in the next video.